Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. This is how to treat swim bladder disease in a betta. Now, there's two ways that you'll notice a betta has swim bladder disease. One, they're on the bottom all the time. Two, which is what happened in our case, um, he's at the top. Now, you'll find them fighting like I fed him yesterday. He was kind of swimming weird before, but he wouldn't, he couldn't follow the food down to the bottom. He just kind of bounced his way back up. And he was resting on his side a lot near the top and over by the heater for the last couple of days. So here's what we're gonna do to treat him. We've taken him out and we've put him in this little bowl here. And you might, might be able to see him right there. We've got decoration in there and some plants in there because we don't want him to have to fight to get back to the surface to breathe because these guys will breathe out of the water. They're different than other types of fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this betta in this bowl for three days without feeding it. And we're gonna take an eyedropper and we're gonna remove the poop out every time it's in there. Now this water isn't new water, it's water that we've taken out of the 10 gallon tank. And after three days, if this behavior continues, we're gonna take a frozen pea and I'll probably put it in the microwave, or no I won't, I'll probably boil it. I'll take the skin off, I'll cut it, take a quarter of that pea and put it in here because peas help with digestion. I actually did it for an archer fish a couple of weeks ago and it cured him no problem. But you only want to do a little bit of food um, with the beta because remember, beta's stomach is only the size of its eye. And this beta here stomach is looking pretty bloated. Now, if this doesn't work, we will continue it again, the same process again, because my last result is an Epsom salt bath because it can be shocking towards the fish. But we'll try, we'll check back in three days, we'll see how it's going. So the most likely cause for this guy having swim bladder problem is overfeeding. Now, the problem, what causes the, the bladder to swell is constipation. So we're trying to let this thing work its natural course. Now the beta was in this tank with only a frog for a while, so it was easy to monitor just the few pellets that we were giving it. Now that Ben's got Corydoras in here with it, and they're eating the same type of food, the food is um, floating on the top, and the betta is eating too much food before it gets a chance to sink down because the Corys aren't swimming up to get it, they're waiting for it to fall to the bottom. So it's his third day in here today, and yesterday we did a 50% water change in this water right here, and he, I didn't see a lot of poop on the bottom, which is not a great sign because he's constipated, which is what is his problem as far as swim bladder related to. So we're going to leave him in here for another day and we're going to give him a pee tomorrow as well. Okay, so here we are at day four and Black Widow is, it's tough to tell because it's just a tiny little bucket. How well he's doing so we're gonna give him a pee so it's boiled i take the skin off it's already gonna be in half no. cut it we'll see if he takes it okay it sank to the bottom let's try and keep this piece here See if he nibbles and if he does that's a good thing and we'll put him in the back in the tank black widow is happy he's healthy he's eating some blood worms he's got a bubble nest going on now his swim bladder has been repaired it did take eight days to get it all working again next week for another edition of friday fish facts